Hi there, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Shape of Water, directed by Guillermo del Toro, starring Sally Hawkins, uh, Michael Shannon, and of course Octavia Spencer. Um, I saw The Shape of Water uh, a couple weeks ago now, uh, a little bit before uh, award season really started gearing up. We had already heard about some of the nominees and potential nominees for Golden Globes. People were talking about the Oscars. And what I was really excited for was seeing uh, del Toro's uh, kind of comeback from... Uh, I, w I wouldn't say a sort of limbo, but maybe, you know, not so solid films. Um, he's always been an, a very visionary filmmaker. Pacific Rim was a terrific um, kind of a robot, just a fun action movie. Um, that's getting a sequel, unfortunately, uh, with very little involvement from him. And, of course, Crimson Peak, which was a very beautiful film to look at. It had a couple of script issues. First thing I'll say, phenomenal performance by Sally Hawkins. In fact, phenomenal performances all around. Um, Michael Sh Shannon does a phenomenal job of portraying this sort of idealistic, you know, gung-ho, you know, I, I wouldn't say white nationalist, but a national nationalistic pride American from, you know, like the 1950s, you know. Um, Sally Hawkins' character is mute, and uh, she communicates using sign language. She can also read lips. Uh, and of course, here, um, I, I think one of the one of the biggest advantages for this film is the the pacing and the quality of the editing. Um, it's a very terrific script Del Toro works with. Um, it's cohesive from beginning to end, and um, it, it's just it's just a beautiful film. Now, as far as the whole love story between a human and, of course, an alien creature or a reptile. That can go horribly wrong. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, the performances are terrific. And if you have a terrific performances, it can generally elevate even the most kind of inconsequential and incomprehensible scripts to at least watchable, right? Now, um, the good news is it's cohesive. It's solid. Um, from moment to moment, there's, there's plenty of action. I wouldn't call this an action film, uh, but there are certain set pieces, uh, specifically uh, water-filled set pieces, uh, an amazingly staged bathroom scene, and of course the final shot uh, is just terrific. Um, overall, uh, terrific music. Uh, I always like to talk about the music in my reviews. Um, it, I was glad to see Alexandre Pla really go... Uh, and, and, and lend his sort of unique style to the film. Uh, we've seen his style before. It works really well with Wes Anderson in his films, uh, such as The Grand Budapest Hotel. He, he likes repeating riffs, and, and th that's apparent in this film as well. And that really lends credence to the action, and, and even when not much is going on. Overall, I would definitely recommend Shape of Water. Uh, it's De Del Toro's best film since perhaps the mid-2000s. I would even say, you know, go ahead and give his other films a try if you like a fun action movie, Pacific Rim, uh, if you're in the mood for kind of a fun, kind of campy horror movie, uh, Crimson Peak is good as well. I wouldn't say he's made a bad movie, uh, but this is a true return to form, and it was only made for, for a very small budget. I don't think it was more than $20 million, which is just incredible. That's it for this review. Uh, hope you look forward to uh, my next review. Uh, I'm probably going to review um, Blade Runner 2049. Uh, until then, ciao.